Oh boy, I look rough. Good grief. I might need a haircut, guys. I think I think quarantine then got to me. Hit that, hit that barber shop. <laughs> what up, guys? I ain't been on the uh, on the YouTube in a little while. I honestly, I ain't even really watching like YouTube videos like I was. I was watching them for a while and doing that. I don't know what happened, guys. Um, what up, Fisherman Tanner? Yeah, I don't know what happened, guys. I, I like fell off the map. Um, almost as bad as one rod, but not quite that bad. Uh, appreciate the love, Fisherman Tanner, man. Um, and I still have the same wife. I don't know what one rod is doing right now. Don't nobody know what he's doing. What up, JMR Fishing? What up? Um, oh, really? Yeah, man. I'm a, I'm in there, man. I'm, I'm doing this. We're doing this. I'm mad I missed the first tournament, the Smith Mountain Lake one, but, you know, it is what it is. I feel like I'd be in a much better spot if I caught that first one. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. So here I am. Um, I did fish the Potomac BFL. Didn't do too bad in that. Um, I was trying to work on a video with it. What up, EJ? What up? What up, nephew? Um, be seeing y'all tomorrow, I think, for a little bit. But, um, yeah, guys, I did fish the um, Potomac River BFL. I did pretty good in that. And for my opinion, again, this is my, that was my first tournament of the year. A lot of people's first tournament of the year. Um, my first time co-angler, like, this this whole year, like, doing that whole deal. So I didn't do too bad. Um, I'll kind of just recap it here because I don't think I'm going to put a video out. I didn't film on the thing. I just was like, look, I'm just trying to catch these fish. I didn't even bring the cameras at all. Um, I'm not a fan of showing other people's juice on the YouTube as a code. If it's my boat, I don't care. But on somebody else's boat, I'm not a fan of showing up somebody else's juice. And the dude, the dude, he had us around the fish. Like, we were around the fish. Um, it was before, like, 6.30 or, I mean, before, it was like a 30-minute run. Probably 7, 7.30, I had two keepers already. So the two fish I had for the day, I had by, like, 7.30. Um, I caught my personal best crappie in this tournament. So the biggest crappie I've caught in my life, I caught it in this tournament. Um, my personal best catfish, I also caught that this tournament. Um, that crappie I had, I thought for sure that was number three, and I was on my way to five. Like, I was so excited, but then it turned out to be a crappie. The catfish, I caught him a little later in the day. I thought that was going to be good, and in the being, I, I was like, that fish had me down on my knees, and I thought for sure, like, I got the, the one I needed, like, to get big fish and win this deal, and it was a daggone catfish. I was so upset, but it's okay. Right after that, I ended up catching a bass after that, but he ended up getting off at the boat, the normal bass fishing story. Kind of sucked, but it was okay. So, either way, I had a good time at that tournament. It was really good. My boater was awesome, really good dude. Got us around a lot of, lot of had us in an area to get some fish. Um, later in the day, it got a little tougher, some key adjustments, um, but it was okay. I had a good time, enjoyed myself. Cannot wait till the next one. I got some good points in that one. I just need more points in this one. I don't, I, and I am not fishing these for points. Points is good, and I want to qualify for the regional, which means I have to finish in the top 45. I had a long way to go to get that, but I'd rather just finish in the top 10. And because basically by finishing the top 10, I get myself closer to the regional, and then I get myself in the money. That's like the goal of these things. Like I want to win this money. I want to learn, but I'm not, I can learn down the street. I want to win this money. Like this gives you a chance to win some serious money from fishing. And that's what I really want to do. Um, Cause I love fishing, but fishing can also reward you and pay you back. So I want to, I want to win. I want to do good. Anything I enter in, anything I get involved in, just in general in my whole entire life, if I enter in it, I'm in it to win it. In it to win it. I'm not in it to learn from it. I'm in it to win it, okay? If I challenge you to a foot race, I am not hoping to learn how you run. I want to beat you. I want to beat you so bad that you don't ever want to run again. Like, that's how, that's my mindset. That's how my mind works. If I'm in it and I'm challenging you to something, I want to beat you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so, I digress. But I wanted to hop on tonight just to kind of, one, let you guys know I still exist. I'm still here. I'm still doing my thing. Um, still out here, still doing good, still eating good, still handling my business. Family still doing good. Everybody's still doing good. Um, I'm not gonna beat you fishing with Tanner unless you're fishing against me. Then I don't know. I can't make no guarantees. That's all I'm saying. Um, I can't make no guarantees um, when it comes to fishing because um, I'm. I, I, I'm a competitive person sometimes, and sometimes I just don't care. Most of the time, I really do care, and I want to win. So um, I want to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about my stuff I got and some stuff I'm working on. 
1500 subscriber giveaway is still coming guys good grief like i swear to you i just fell off the map and just completely got off track but i am back i didn't forget 1500 subscriber giveaway is coming i do have a new partner that i work with now a new team i'm on i'm very excited about that so i figured i'd share that as well with you guys i am now an official member a pro staff member of team 13 fishing so um 13 fishing is who i rock with now for rods reels and possibly baits as well i do rock with them for baits i just we working on that part because they're developing some really great things for baits and you guys make sure you check it out they got a bait coming out called the jabber jaw that's a combination between a chatter bait and a crankbait you guys do not want to miss this they have a scamp they have top water they have like i said crank baits jerk baits some really affordable they got frogs they got it all so 13 fishing rods reels and baits that's where i'm at right now so just a quick update on that um and i'm just leaving it at that i'm at 13 fishing now I'm official member, sign, contract, deal, squad, the whole nine. Like, I'm an official member of uh, Team 13 Fishing. So, that's where it's at. Omen Black, Concept Z's, uh, Inceptions, all these. The Boss, like, all these things. That's where it's at right now. So, I'm very excited. This is, like, the biggest news and the biggest announcement of my whole entire fishing journey. And it's a very short journey. I've only been in about four years for bass fishing. But to be able to get on a team like 13 Fishing is huge i actually started fishing with 13 fishing when i first got into fishing i had some number eight tackles and some omens and some stuff like that that i started with when i got to fishing so the opportunity for it to circle back around and to become a part of that is not something i take lightly and i'm very thankful i'm very thankful to god that's like an opportunity i could only dream about to get to get to where i got to with 13 fishing so i'm very excited so any questions whatever you guys need from 13 fishing let me know um, i'm happy to help muse Concept A Gen 2 is this this stuff is the deal, guys. Like I I, I don't sign up and work with no company that's that's, that's pushing junk. So um, 13 fishing is where it's at. Uh, but that's a quick update. That's a huge biggest announcement I got. I'm actually gonna make a video about that. So um, they don't have line yet. So my line I still rock with Sunline Sniper Sniper um, FC and I rock with Berkeley Trilene. So those are my those are my two line deals. But um, they don't have line as of yet. I don't know if it's in the works. Wouldn't surprise me if it was, but um, right now, just rods, reels, and uh, baits. But 13 Fishing, be sure to check it out, 13fishing.com. They got it all that you need. Um, but enough of that. There's enough of that to talk about what I use, because people are going to use whatever they're going to use. I think we've gone over this a thousand times. You use whatever you use. It's comfortable for you. I'm just telling you what I use. Um, the other thing I wanted to address is um, the big thing. That's what I put on the title. Kerr Lake, BFL, coming up. So that's coming up um, very soon. I'm fishing the Shenandoah Division, Kerr Lake. I'm very excited about that. I'm fishing as a co. I'm not fishing as a boater. I'm fishing as a co-angler on the Curl Lake BFL. And um, fishing as a co is challenging. I just want to put that out there. It's very challenging. Um, I'm used to running the boat. I'm used to seeing the, the dock pile and an eye pitch at it. I'm used to seeing the stick laying in the water like this that's coming out. And I see it and I pitch at it and I bring my bait over it and I catch the fish. Um, I kind of discussed this on my Instagram story earlier. But I'm used to seeing that. I'm used to pitching at it. I'm used to catching the fish. When you're fishing as a co, it's way different. If you're fishing as a team, that's one thing. If we see it, we go for it, right? That's the team. But if you're fishing as a co, the boater sees it. He's fishing against other boaters. He's obviously going to pick all the prime locations. He's going to pitch at them first. He may let you get a crack at it after he's gone past it, but you're, never, you're almost never going to get to it before he gets to it. One, because you can't, okay? So when you're fishing as a co in these BFLs, there is like an imaginary line on the boat where you can't pitch in front. So if there's a dock here and he's facing that dock, you can't bomb from the back of the boat <laughs> and hit that dock. You can, he will report you at the end of the day and your catches will not count and you will be disqualified because you violated the, the code that's on the boat. So you can't see that dock and pitch at that dock. You can't see that stick in the water and pitch at it. If he's facing it and you bomb your cast in front of him, you're going to have a rough day, okay? you you got it 100 percent right you may your hind pots may end up in the river that you're fishing um quickly okay like there's not a game like those dudes are investing a lot some of them have a mindset that i don't agree with where they feel like they're taking you around the river for a day like you're, they're like some kind of guide service that you're paying for and they feel like that you should just be happy to be on a boat um some of that stuff i don't agree with i never released that video i did a really good video about the whole process some of it I don't agree with it. Some of them at the end of the day feel like you should make their boat payment because they took you out on their boat. Some of them are, it's, it, it's, it's, it's asinine, for lack of a better word. 
um, a mindset, especially for somebody like me who has my own boat and is in the process of getting an even bigger boat. It's dumb to me. Like you paid your entry fee. Like if I'm a, if I'm a boater and a co is fishing in my boat, you're a co. You paid your entry fee to the organization. You paid the fee. I agreed to fish. I paid my entry fee. I agreed to leave a seat open. And I agreed to leave the live open for you. You getting in my boat is not me doing you a favor. You paid a fee to get in here. So I'm not doing you any favors. You paid a fee. I agreed to it. Now I just need to shut up and fish, right? Like shut up and fish, catch my fish, let you catch your fish. And we go home and get the day over with. And don't stand at the end of the day with my hand out talking about you should pay me some money. Thank you for the opportunity. But again, for me, I have my own boat. I have friends that have their own boats. I could just get one of their boats and hop in these things as a boater. It's nothing, it's nothing to it, right? Like nothing to it. Once you are in like the fishing community and you have friends and stuff like that, there's, there's everybody's so nice in the fishing community. It's a wonderful place to be. Like you need to make sure you're in here um, because everyone's, everyone's super nice. Like they're very nice. So I don't understand the, the boaters that want to be jerks on some of these things. I don't get it, but it is what it is. But to what I'm saying for a co, it's, it's challenging. It's a little bit tough to be a co in these deals. Um, Bringing your big ounce and a half weights and your, your tungsten and your, your quarter your three quarter ounce jig and stuff like that, like you ain't gonna get that shot to get there. Basically, you are gonna get what's left, and you you might want to make sure you got a shaky head somewhere around, right? Like shaky head, drop shot, shaky head, and zoom finesse worm. Like literally, that's all you need to bring is the co. Bring like three different color worms and a shaky head and two rods. Like ideally, that's pretty much all you need to do. Anything else you bring, you kind of wasting your time because you get on a crankbait bite, sure, that might come to play, but, like, the odds of you having the one 15 to 20 foot 6XD diving crankbait and you guys pulling up on a channel swing bank where the wind's coming in and pushing the bait up and you running your bait down and you getting that exact angle to make that cast for the crankbait, it's not going to happen. Like, go back and look at it. This is what I do. This is what I spend a lot of time doing. I spend too much time doing if you go back and look at results from tournaments, now mind you, not everybody tells the truth when they win a tournament. Sometimes they have sponsors, they have obligations, so they're gonna tell you what they wanna tell you. you. May not tell you what they actually did, but nine times out of 10, if you go back and look at it and you see what the co won the bait on, it's usually gonna be a shaky hit or some form of finesse technique. So your best bet is to come ready with your big stuff. Cause if you guys get into pads or if you're on the Potomac where every side of the boat's in play, you better come prepared on the Potomac. Like, you better not be the guy that just brings a spinner rod on the Potomac. You better have something else. You better have your spinner rod, for sure. But you better have something else because on the Potomac, you can fish on multiple sides. When you're going to a place like Kerr Lake, that's at full pool, that's 306 feet deep, whereas the Potomac, I never, I haven't even seen five feet on the Potomac. I literally don't fish past five feet on the Potomac. I don't. I never do. I never have. I don't plan on. The deepest I've seen ever, ever in life on the Potomac is nine feet. And I ran the heck away from that. Because I was like, this is foolishness. I'm not fishing in nine feet on the Potomac. I need to be able to pitch a, a tree. Like, I am not, or I'm fishing a grass flat. I ain't looking for nine feet on the Potomac. But on Kerr Lake, it's different. Watch any video on Kerr Lake. You'll see it's different. It's a different animal. People are up shallow flipping willows and bushes and stuff like that. If that comes into play, guess what? I'm ready to go. But ideally, probably I'm going to end up having to drag shaky here somewhere. Um, or throw a drop shot around some dock pilots or something like that with some light line and try to try to clean up or pick up on what my other boater may or may not have gotten so um for co your best bet a couple different colors of worms finesse worms uh trick worms finesse worms something like that your standard jig or whatever your texas rig um maybe something with some top water or spinner bait for the early morning bite um chatter bait and uh like i said shaky it and that's it go to work go to like Put them rods in your hand, stick with your plan, and go to work and grind it out. Now, that's coming from me. I ain't won nothing as a co, but I'm telling you I know how to fish, and I'm telling you I know how to find it. This is literally like my fourth BFL that I've done in my life. The first two, I should have never entered. I did not know enough about fishing to even be in a boat at that time, to be honest with you. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, because I think I, know, I think I know a lot about fishing, or I think I thought I knew a lot about fishing. Now, mind you, I did fish them, and I still came back with a three and a half pounder, right? Like, my boater caught a three. Like, I still did pretty good, right? Like, I didn't do bad. But the reality is, as far as what fishing involves and what you're looking for and what you're trying to do, I, nah, there's no way. I, I was so happy to fish. I just hopped in the first thing I could. I got, I bought a fishing pole from Walmart and hopped in a BFL. Like seriously, dude, like I, I'm not even playing with you guys. I literally 
fished my first tournament with with uh i'm pretty sure i had like three poles and i i say pole from walmart not the good quality poles that walmart may have by good quality i mean like 75 bucks um not even that i'm talking the push button pole like literally i had a push button pole in my arsenal i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly um you can get beat by guys with those. I'm just saying it's a different it's a different mindset. I wasn't even prepared to be where I was at doing what I was doing um, at that time. It's a lot different now. That's why I feel pretty comfortable going into these, and I'm not doing too bad. And I'm very excited for 2021 to be able to um, hopefully enter as a boater and do my thing as a boater too or as a co and still pick up some techniques and then try 20. 22 i'm not sure either way i'm still gonna be fishing it but anyways i thought i'd hop on and share a little bit with you guys some stuff that could possibly help you guys um don't let the fact that i said i used the push button walmart pole fool you again refer back to the beginning of this video where i still will try to beat you <laughs> i will get that push button pole you can get your push button pole we can meet at the pond and i still will try to beat you um in fishing so from my boat um this year i've I fished, I think, six or seven already this year. I've only been doing it for like a month, two months this year. Last year, probably 20. Before that, probably 20. 20. Um, yeah, probably, I don't know. If I, if I say 60, maybe 60, maybe, maybe 50, 60 tournaments from my boat as a boater. So I fish a lot of weeknight tournaments. And then I fish a lot of weekend tournaments. And I take my kids on tournaments. I just did a tournament with my wife. I don't know if you guys saw that on my Instagram. We actually did good, caught a five fish limit. Uh, my wife put a bunch of fish in the boat. I kicked in a few solid fish as well. Like we had a really good time in that as well. So um, yeah, I've done quite a few from my boat. Um, and, and needless to say, I, you know, again, I know what I'm looking for. I'm not an expert. I'm obviously not a professional angler by the term of professional angler. I don't make a living from fishing. I do make a living from music and I do like a living um, selling insurance. So. I did mention that earlier. I apparently you know, no one was aware of the fact that I sell insurance, but that's what I do for a living. I am not a 12 year old kid that just likes to talk about fishing. I am almost 40 years old <laughs> and I sell, I've been selling insurance for the past 15 years. That's my life. Like that's what I actually do. That's how I put food on the table is uh, from selling insurance. So I sell insurance, um, but I also fish as well. And then I'm also a musician. I also travel and do musician mm -hmm. stuff as well. But 25 would be great. No, I am 39 years old. Like I am not, I am not a little kid by any way, shape or form. Um, but that's good news. That's good. I like, I'm staying young. I'm definitely a kid at heart and I do, I have action figures. Let's just, let's put that out there. I found them yesterday. I have action figures. I love action figures. They're great. Um, X-Men action figures. Like they're awesome. They're not my kids. They're mine. Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just let that sit right there. And I'm trying to buy a two door games. Um, you guys played the electronic football? I don't know if you guys have ever played electronic football. My brother sent me this. I played electronic football as a little kid all the time. The kind where you cut the switch on and your men like down the field and you put the little piece of thing in between and he tries to score a touchdown and you got to turn the meter to make sure he goes straight because you want your running back to bust through the middle. And by bust through the middle, I mean like do 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 do. Two door games, electronic football. If you haven't played it, buy it and play it. You will thank me later. I'm telling you, two door games, electronic football is fantastic. But anyways, talking fishing, Kerr Lake BFL. Sorry guys, it's getting a little dark. I tried to cut my light on a little bit. Hopefully it helps. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys about the fishing, the tournament coming up, BFL. I'm excited about it. I think it'll be fun. I plan on having a lot of fun while I do it. Um, 1,500 subscriber giveaways coming soon. 13 fishing, I'll make a custom tackle. Make sure you guys check those out. Those are what I rock with right now. Those are awesome. Get you some TRC covers. Those are great to protect your gear. And then uh, last but not least, um, be thankful for your family, guys, right now. Now's a huge time to be thankful for your family. Enjoy your family. Um, spend as much time as you can with your family. That's all I've been doing lately. So you guys haven't seen me at all, but I've definitely been fishing. I've been having my family come fishing. I've been taking out a 12-foot John boat on my pond and catching good fish. Check it out on Instagram. You can see it. I've been taking out a 14-foot John boat. So during this time when y'all haven't seen me, I bought a 12-foot boat, I bought a 14-foot boat, and I still have my 16-foot boat. So I've been taking out all three of these boats catching fish, having a blast. I took my mom fishing. Uh, like I said, my wife, I took her fishing. Um, she's been coming fishing with me every time I've been going fishing. We've been filming. I've got at least 10 to 12 videos queued up and ready for you guys um, as soon as I get the thing back going. But I wanted to come on live real quick and just kind of say, hey, let you guys know I'm still here. 
Wish me luck, guys. Pray for me the whole nine, guys. Kerr Lake BFL. I really just want to do good. I really love fishing. I enjoy fishing. I want to win. And the motivation behind wanting to beat people when it comes to fishing is just that I'm a dad. This is just real talk, 100%. I'm a dad who loves my family, and I want to do the best I can for my family. Fishing provides an avenue. Catching little green fish provides an avenue where I can provide an even better life for my family through something that I taught myself and learned myself. It's the same thing I did with music. My father helped me learn music as a kid, and I learned music as a kid, and it was able to provide some really good things for me and my family as I got a little bit older, and it still provides now, and it's phenomenal. It's a great thing. Um, learning a skill, learning an actual skill, and having that skill make you money. So fishing is something that I learned that I can do, that I've been investing a lot in, but I really just want to be good at it because I enjoy it. Fishing teaches you a lot. You learn a lot when you fish. It teaches you life skills. It teaches you like a lot of stuff when it comes to fishing. That's why I enjoy fishing so much. But it also provides an avenue where you can make money and provide an even better life for your family. Like I mentioned, the family is very important to me. One of the most important things to me. My family, my sister family, my mama, my, I mean my whole family. And I'm sure you guys' family is important to you as well. But fishing provides an avenue where you can go out and catch fish and then possibly make money doing it. And have a good time. Make lots of friends. Enjoy yourself. Um, and like I said, learn a lot of things. So just... It's real talk, 100, 100, 100, me to you, um, that's what it is, and that's the goal. Like, I want to be able to provide even better than I have right now for the family. You see, you hear different stories, guys, learn this, that, and the third. A lot of guys grew up fishing. I've only still been fishing for bass for four years. I've been fishing overall for five, but I started with catfish and trout um, four years for bass. So for four years in from bass fishing, to be where I'm at, to be having the conversations I'm having, to be signing the deals I'm signing, to be doing these kind of things, it's, like, remarkable. I'm so excited with the work and the progress. But all that says to me is I got more work to do, more stuff to do, more growing to do, more learning to do, more pushing to do, more grinding to do, you know what I'm saying, like that. Because I'm big on like just all of us just getting along, all of us having a good time, all of us doing the best that we can. That's my thing. I don't want to just succeed, I want everybody to succeed. If I'm getting somewhere, I want you to get somewhere. Like that's just how I've always been, that's how I've been raised as a little kid. So um, enough of that, fishing, 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 more fishing, fishing, lots of fishing. Um, if you haven't bought a 12-foot John boat and taken it out on your local pond, do that. Bass boats are great. Get yourself a 12-footer. Go out on your local pond. Bring three rods and a Gatorade bottle. Again, thank me later. So you guys got two things to do. Get the 12-foot boat, two-door electric football as well. So, because I don't know what the NFL doing. I don't care. But I can play two-door electric football. I can pick whatever team I want, and it's awesome. Invite your friends. You guys are awesome. I didn't, didn't forget the awkward hug. Happy birthday as well. My nephew had his birthday, Jordan. Happy birthday to Stefan as well. He had his birthday. Guys, he got hooked up for his birthday, Stefan and Jordan. They both got hooked up for their birthday. Um, they both love fishing. Their daddy loves fishing. They're awesome. So I love my family. Family's great. Um, huge shouts out to y'all. Y'all are awesome. So I um, want to say thank you to you guys as my family. Um, as well, they're awesome. And to your family, from my family, lots more fishing. Enjoy yourself. Keep fishing. Oh, yeah. I, I'm back with the same wife. Not a new one. I still got the same family, kids, all that. You know what I'm saying? I got all that. I just took a little break. A little break and break. But, um, like I said, there's 12 videos queued up. There's 12 videos. So I come back from the Curl Lake BFL. It's going to be upload, probably twice a week uploads to get these videos out. I got four pounders. I got five pounders. I got five fish limits. I got pond talk. I got how to buy how to buy the perfect boat talk. I got, I mean, I got graph install videos, guys. I got, I've been filming. I've been filming. I just ain't been uploading. I haven't been letting the upload actually get viewed. I have the uploads. I just haven't turned them from uh, private to public yet, scheduled or whatever. I haven't done that yet, but I got them. Um, huge shout out to your next cast too. That guy's taking off. Scott Hollywood's taking off. Um, Adam as well from um, uh, Full Armor Bass, and he done taking a break too. So hoping he come back here because I love his videos, man. He's great. Adam's a good dude, man. Um, so anyways, appreciate the support, guys. Again, awkward hug. My Bass and Furious friends, my BFFs. You guys are awesome. Peace, peace. Mail.